Sometimes in life, it takes a lot of emotion and reflection to make sense of the senseless. This week's State of Mind served up some deep subject matter as General Hospital's Morris Bernard sat down with two-time mom and social influencer, Danny Bates, to discuss the loss of her beloved husband, Denny, to suicide and how a video chronicling her daughter's grief struck a chord with many social media followers. Bernard, Sonny Corinthas, started the show by reminding the audience how he started the video podcast, State of Mind, by talking from his car during his own dark period and struggling with mental health. That is when his daughter Kaylee spotted a video of a three-year-old child grieving the loss of her father on Instagram and planted the idea of talking to her mother about their struggle to come to terms with his loss. The host warmly welcomed the brave mom and cautioned his audience about the harsh subject matter. This morning you are going to be watching Danny Bates on State of Mind, and she is absolutely breathtaking. I do want to warn you that we do speak about suicide, so do take that into consideration, but Danny is an incredible woman. The social media influencer didn't start out to do that. It was only when she felt like she was at the end of her rope and dealing with a young child trying to cope with the unfathomable that she put it out there for others to see. Others might be struggling, just as her family was with a loss they didn't see coming. Bates described her husband's frame of mind just before the incident. He had been the healthiest mentally than he had ever been, up until that week. She continued, he was doing so well in every aspect of his life. He was happy. He was whole. He was eating normally. Exercising normally. He had his dream job. He was an SRO of a group of car dealerships. He had his babies. And we were happy. Despite their ideal family life, there was darkness on the horizon. We had found out a week before he died that a close family member of ours had been sexually abused for ten years of her life. It triggered something in him. A week later, he was found in his car behind the local police station. Not only was Bates devastated, but her two young children, a baby and an almost three-year-old, would be left traumatized from the loss. On the advice of her therapist, the widow began working with her daughter, Winnie, to help her learn to self-soothe to address future PTSD and start to heal. She made the controversial choice to share with family and friends on social media, and it went viral, helping many other grieving families in the process. Danny Bates may be a stranger to the audience, but after hearing her story, many may feel like her story is a familiar one. Bernard put her at ease, and she began to share her past. She spoke of her own history of dealing with anxiety, depression, and OCD. The young mother discussed growing up adopted into a Mormon family, struggling with the strict guidelines set by the church, going on a mission while struggling with her own mental health, and eventually, leaving on her own terms. Bates detailed how she met her husband, the love of her life, their courtship, how he won her family over, and how his own troubled past came to light after his death. Her story inspired Morris Bernard, and his quest to bring mental health to the forefront also encouraged her to make this her life mission moving forward by helping other families reeling from a loved one's loss. Click here for the full episode. The devastating news was released on Tuesday that beloved General Hospital star Sonia Eddy passed away Monday, December 19, 2022, at the age of 55. She was a commanding presence on the ABC soap, and will be greatly missed. I am heartbroken about the loss of the incredible Sonia Eddy, Frank Valentini, executive producer, said in a statement. I truly loved her not only as an actress, but as a friend. The lights in the hub of the nurse's station will now be a little dimmer, but her spirit and light will live on in both the show and our set. On behalf of the entire GH cast and crew, we send our deepest sympathy to her family, friends, and fans. She will be very missed. Eddie made her GH debut in March 2006 as Epiphany Johnson, who succeeded Audrey Hardy, Rachel Ames, as head nurse of General Hospital. Spinelli Bradford Anderson, appropriately nicknamed Epiphany the Formidable One. She was indeed that both on screen and off. Epiphany made sure General Hospital ran smoothly. She was tough on her nurses because she wanted the best for and from them. Epiphany could be counted on to keep a level head during a medical crisis. Encouraged by Marshall Ashford, Robert Gossett, Epiphany recently began pursuing her dream of becoming a doctor. Born on June 17, 1967, Eddie was raised in Concord, California, 
She excelled in theater and dance at UC Davis. Acting became a passion while participating in the West Coast premiere of Zora Is My Name, written by the legendary actress Ruby D, ex Martha Fraser, The Guiding Light. Eddie went on to embody such roles as Big Sweet in Zora, Courtson in Comedy of Errors, and other memorable roles in productions such as The Crucible, Pericles, and Into the Woods. She won the Artie Award for the role of Bloody Mary in the production of South Pacific. A move to Los Angeles found Eddie landing roles in television and film. Primetime roles in the 90s quickly followed on such shows as The Drew Carey Show, Martin, Married, With Children, Beverly Hills 90,210, Saved by the Bell. The New Class, Murphy Brown, Family Matters, Tracy Takes On, Third Rock from the Sun, Seinfeld, Any Day Now, Martial Law, To Have and To Hold, USA High, Malibu Ka. Touched by an Angel, Arlie Dollar Dollar, Popular and Providence. In the 2000s, Eddie could be seen on such shows as Gilmore Girls, Even Stevens, Lizzie McGuire, Diagnosis Murder, Resurrection Boved, Spider Games, The Jenny Project, Primetime Blick, Felicity, Reba, Still Standing, Monk, Madiv, House, Joan of Arcadia, The Reading Room, Malcolm in the Middle, ER, Daybreak, Everybody Hates Chris, CSI, Crime Scene Investigation, Desperate Housewives, Burning Hollywood, Good Luck Charlie, the talented actress began adding film roles in such movies as High School High, Blast, Motel Blue, Sour Grapes, The Godson, Patch Adams, Sorcerers, Last from the Past, Inspector Gadget, Netty Professor 2, The Clumps, The Jenny Project, Roads to Riches, Buying the Cow, Barbershop, The Third Society, Loco Love, Daddy Daycare, Matchstick Men, One Last Ride, Promised Land, Surviving Christmas, Coach Carter, Come Away Home, Bad News Bears, Lost in Plain View, Gridiron Gang, Year of the Dog, Disfigured, Seven Pounds, The Perfect Game, Dorfman in Love, The Hive, Fixed, Thumper, I Live Alone, V slash H slash S slash 99, and Satanic Hispanics. Her all-around skills found Sonia Eddy in high demand on daytime, primetime, commercials, film, voiceover artist, and staged throughout her career, and her personality left its mark on her co-stars. The 2010s found her adding primetime roles on Felicity, Reba, Still Standing, The Pits, House, Less Than Perfect, Joan of Arcadia, Inconceivable, The Reading Room, Malcolm in the Middle, Daybreak, In Case of Emergency, Everybody Hates Chris, Burning Hollywood, Good Luck Charlie, Glee, Two Broke Girls, The Middle, Partners, Monday Mornings, Bad Samaritans, Zach Stone is Gonna Be Famous, Baby Daddy, Legit, Girl Meets World, Mulaney, Mom, Castle, Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Fresh Off the Boat, Those Who Can't, and more. Eddie was a talented singer, as evidenced by Epiphany's performances at the Nurses Ball, the nearly annual talent show where doctors, nurses, and other Port Charles citizens show off their musical talents. She sang the fan-favorite tune, You're Not Alone, at both the Nurses Ball and the funeral of nurse Sabrina Santiago, Teresa Castillo. Among her amazing skills, Eddie was also an accomplished improv-slash-sketch artist, second soprano to first tenor vocalist, and an in-demand voiceover artist. Soap Hub sends its sincere condolences to the family, friends, and fans of Sony Eddie during this very difficult time.